Today I've got five fun and creative painting ideas for you. I'll be using gouache for all of those. Here you can see I'm using the Winsor & Newton gouache and I'm using those two palettes. I already have a lot of paint on them and I'm sketching my first painting which is an underwater scene. I asked you a couple of weeks ago what I, what you want me to draw in my sketchbook and someone said an underwater landscape with a ray or multiple rays. I just decided to do one and I did this in this kind of style where we have all of those layers that are just flat layers and I mean this is not the best paper so it's a little bit blotchy could have done another layer but I just didn't want to do a second layer you can kind of see it with the brightest blue that it is just a little bit streaky it's not too bad so I left it like that also because I'm trying to finish this sketchbook fairly quickly it's almost finished it has it claims to have watercolor paper but it's not the best quality paper and I'm just trying to finish this up there's just a few pages left now so I feel like we can do this this year so here's the first painting and I'm just gonna do something on the left side now with the same color colors that I already have on my palette and here I'm just gonna paint some circles like it doesn't always have to be this mind-blowing idea you don't have to always paint something specific sometimes I'm just gonna paint circles and that's hard enough honestly like painting good looking circles is not that easy it's a good practice it's a little bit mindless you don't have to focus on making something look realistic or anything just focus on making your circle as round as possible and and I feel like this is a really good practice, especially if you are not that used to your paints. Like I said, I'm using gouache here. And if you haven't used gouache that much, this could be a really good exercise in learning how to get the consistency right and just how to paint with it essentially and this is how the double page spread looks I really like that it's more on the simpler side sometimes you just need to do it like that and now we're flipping and doing another page spread in this book and on the right side I'm starting to paint some strawberries so I actually started with my background people ask me all the time how do you do that with gouache how do you best layer and I would say layer as little as possible in a way because even though gouache is opaque and you can layer it I recommend if you're using traditional gouache meaning not acrylic gouache then I would start with the background painting it around the subject like I did in this case and then I'm just mapping out very roughly where everything goes you can see I'm being very rough with those strawberries and later on I'm gonna add more and more details and I'm gonna add a few layers but I'm just mapping out where everything is is almost like a sketch but with painting so it's rather the rough I just want to know where everything is and make sure that I don't have to go with the red on top of the blue background because that way it would have been much more of a struggle to layer of course it works but it's better to do it like this and don't have to struggle with having to layer the paints too much especially if you're using cheap quality gouache then I suggest painting around your subjects when you're doing your background it is a little bit more work in a sense where you have to paint around everything as you can see here but most of the time I do it like that not always but I do recommend especially if you're struggling with getting clean and good looking layers this might be a good idea but you can see that I am layering some lighter paint on top of the mid-tones and some darker paints I usually start with the mid-tones and then I add in all of my details as you can see here the strawberries the red ones started with this mid-tone red and then later on I added in the darker colors and the highlights and the same thing with the leaves and I found that this subject was so fun to paint because it's not just strawberries like you have all of this greenery I also 
also added in a few flowers and you have all of the leaves and just all of the layers because some of the strawberries are more towards the front and some are more towards the back and I was having a lot of fun with this one so I recommend trying something like this it doesn't have to be strawberries it could be any kind of fruit honestly it could be anything but I had a lot of fun with this and I really refined the painting over and over just don't get defeated when your painting doesn't look amazing right away you can still add stuff especially with gouache because it is opaque so you can add some highlights and stuff like that you can play around with the paint something doesn't look good cover it up blend it in you can see here that i'm blending the leaves later on even after they have been dry because you can do that you can do that almost like with oil paints but uh, with gouache you're gonna need a damp brush so make sure that your brush has just a little bit of water on it so you can easily blend the colors that are already on your paper of course this depends a little bit on the quality of the gouache that you're using and also on the quality of the paper that you're using i found that if i use really good watercolor paper i have the easiest time blending gouache so if you're really struggling with that then i recommend trying better supplies in case you have only tried cheap supplies they are much harder to use you can of course get good results with them though if you have enough patience and just play around the main point here being just don't give up too easily I know a lot of people struggle with gouache but you can really get the hang of it after a while it takes a little bit because it's a very different medium it's not like watercolors it's not like acrylics it's its own thing and you just have to kind of play around with it and get used to the consistency and all of the techniques just don't get defeated and enjoy the process because I feel like gouache is one of the most fun processes painting with it because you can really sit down relax you don't have to worry about the paint drying too fast because you can always reactivate it I find that working with acrylic paint is much more stressful I'm currently also doing a project with acrylic paint and it's just not the same thing it's so much more more stressful so you can see that I'm adding in all of those little shadows and outlines and it's not a perfect painting I didn't perfect all of the details I just left it at a part where I thought hey now I like it now it's good enough and I'm I can leave it here it's still a painting in a sketchbook after all so this is what it looks like now and then on the left side I wanted to do something in uh, the same color scheme but because my sketchbook is already so thick I decided to paint on a separate piece of paper and glue that in later on I mean yes that's gonna make it even more thick but it's just so much easier to paint on a flat surface than on a thick sketchbook so you can see I'm painting a telephone Phone. and some of you might have already seen this painting on YouTube shorts or on Instagram reels this is inspired by the new Taylor Swift album that recently came out it's called Midnights and I've been listening to it pretty much non-stop since it came out and I really love it I wanted to paint a red telephone for a while it's kind of symbolic for Taylor Swift and I wanted to write something that has something to do with one of the songs you will see what I will write on this and I just had so much fun with this one because it's this illustrative style that works really well with gouache I was struggling a bit with the paper I believe I was using Arteza watercolor paper but I'm not a hundred percent sure I found it in a drawer so I had this piece of paper lying around I don't know what it was I cannot guarantee that it was a certain brand I was struggling a little bit with it because it bled a little bit more than I'm used to 
So I had to go back and forth a little bit with some things and with the background. But in the end, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Also, I really love the colors. I love this specific red tone. I believe it's the primary red from the Winsor & Newton starter set. I love the color of this paint so much. It has this magenta kind of tone. I have watercolors that are called Cronacardon Rose or Cronacardon Rose red those are usually those types of red tones the only thing that i don't like about this specific red color is that it dries so cracky on my palette and it's a real mess trying to reactivate that paint on my palette but the color itself, it's just so good. I really like it. And I really had to make sure that I uh, did the details well with this and make the circles round and stuff like that because it doesn't really allow for too many mistakes. If you have a heavily layered landscape or something like that that I usually paint, you can make a bunch of mistakes and nobody will notice. But here, if it's not good, not circular it's a little bit harder so if you do that maybe use something that can help you like a round object or transfer your sketch from uh, from a print out and really take your time and make sure that you really have patience with this essentially it's not perfect mine's not perfect either it doesn't have to be perfect just make sure you take your time so you can see here now i'm writing the text on it and it says karma is calling because i really love the song karma on the album it was one of the songs that i immediately liked when i listened to it first it's one of those songs that you hear and you love it immediately some of the other songs are w ones that you have to listen to more than once to like it but overall i'm so happy with this painting and with the album both of the things you can see now that i'm gluing it into the sketchbook and then we have this double page spread that i'm very very happy with it might be my favorite one in this sketchbook so far and then for the next one, I'm actually using this zigzag sketchbook that I haven't used in a long time. <laughs> when I look at this, I can see how much my art has improved because it's been a while. And it's just this very long accordion style sketchbook and it has two sides, obviously. So this is the back side of it. And there were four pages that were still unfilled. And I decided to do a landscape here very very long landscape and I did it inspired by the colors that were already on the other pages so it would at least somewhat fit together even though the style is gonna be very different but I got inspired by the by pride flag that was on the other side and also added the color of the gender fluid pride flag so it's kind of those colors in one painting the painting itself doesn't really have anything to do with pride but it's just those colors and I really like them together it looks really good and I was still listening to the Taylor Swift album and it has this eerie vibe and it is about those sleepless nights and those weird dreams and stuff like that so it really has this vibe and I kind of painted this dream landscape in a way so it, it kind of makes sense I don't know I had so much fun creating this it took about eight hours I think so for a sketchbook page this is pretty long so you can see it looks a bit choppy because it's so sped up but I did not want to force you to watch eight hours of this or uh, too much time, honestly. I wanted it to, I want you to see the progress much, much quicker than I did when I painted this. I think the most time was actually spent on the sky. I don't know what came over me when I decided that I wanted to do these spirals in the sky. This took so long. But I believe it turned out really cool. I'm really happy with how it looks. And honestly, I really enjoy this style. I have created a few landscapes in this kind of style now. And I feel like this is kind of 
starting to become my style. It's kind of developing a little bit. And I'm really happy that this is finally happening. After four years of consistently painting, I kind of feel there is something there. I might have an art style somewhere hidden here. And yeah, I really enjoyed this, even though it was a little bit tedious and it took a while, but I had a good time while doing this. So I think that's what matters most. And not all of these painting ideas have to be quick and simple. You can see here that I splattered a little bit of paint, but I kind of fixed that. I had to paint over that anyways. What I wanted to say, not all of these paintings have to be super quick. Sometimes I just want to take my time and enjoy the painting process. And some paintings are just not going to be something that you can whip out in an hour or two. Some paintings take a little bit longer. And I know that every artist has a completely different reference for what a long painting is or a short one. Some people spend... 80 hours on a painting and that's their normal pace because they add so many details and stuff like that or they're huge paintings and some artists they uh, paint and create something in less than an hour it's very very different point being don't force yourself to go at a pace that doesn't work for you I really hated that in school when we only had a certain amount of time and I would never finish my paintings I never got done and then I had to rush to finish it and I really hated that because the painting never looked to the quality that I was inspiring to because it just didn't have enough time so if you're painting on your own time there's no point in rushing too much there's also no point in forcing yourself to take too much time if you want to do something quick like either way is fine as long as you enjoy the process that's the most important thing just create something that you like or at least something where you enjoyed the process of it doesn't matter if you're just painting circles or blobs or something like this a real landscape just do something that you enjoy you can see this is how it looks with the other paintings on the right that are just they look so bad to me now but I'm glad that I have this. For the next idea check out this video in which I'm going to show you even more gouache painting ideas. I'm using acrylic gouache as well as traditional gouache.